Hey guys, I'm Matt. Welcome back to our aquariums. Today I wanted to do a little project um, that I just kind of came up with. Well, I've seen it before and I've done it before on a few uh, freshwater tanks, but I've never done it for a saltwater tank, but it really doesn't. It, it's an interchangeable project, basically based upon just a few mild changes to what you're doing. Um, so I was roaming through my uh, local pet store here the other day and they had a container of uh, carbon on sale. I generally don't use carbon in any of my tanks just because uh, it's kind of, it's a little bit pricey usually uh, and I haven't really found a use or a need for it too much. I like the way it makes the water look but for the cost it's just not worth it to me to do it. But this was on sale so I picked it up because uh, now I just have the little tank on reef so this will last me a long time. And <clears throat> it's loose carbon which is generally cheaper if you buy carbon loose than in little packets anyways. Uh, but you can buy it either way. Nor generally the ones that come in little packets are pre-made for whatever filter you have on your tank. But the loose is way cheaper to buy, especially if you buy it in bulk from someplace like Bulk Reef Supply or uh, Foster & Smith or someplace like that online. So basically this container is just a bulk thing of loose carbon that's, uh, I'm not sure of the size of it, but it's, it's kind of about gravel, or real fine gravel size or pea gravel size. Um, but what I wanted to do was figure out some way to put it in my hang on back filter that I have on the 10 gallon nano tank. And I couldn't really just, you can't really just throw it in there and I didn't want to stick it in a bag because I don't really have a bag laying around plus it wouldn't have gotten the, the best amount of contact water for the way my filter is. So what I decided to do was build myself an external or internal, I don't know how you set it up, uh, kind of a reactor, if you will. So what a reactor is, basically, you'll hear reactor a lot of time on saltwater stuff, almost never on freshwater, but basically what a reactor is, is simply a container that has some kind of media in it, whether that's uh, carbon or phosphate or phosphate X or whatever the phosphate remover is, um, or it can have all kinds of stuff. But that's all it is, basically a container that water goes into and then flows out of. And so... There's lots of ways you can build this yourself. Um, I got the idea originally from the King of DIY, uh, his channel. He built one out of a water bottle, which is a great way to do it if you don't want to do any drilling or you don't really uh, own a drill or you just want to throw something together in a hurry, which I did this anyways. But because this came in this container that is really, it fit inside my uh, filter perfectly, I decided to go with this. So on that filter, it's basically just a hang on back box on mine that I ran a pump with a hose from the tank feeding into. So what I did on here was I took a drill with a drill bit the size of my airline coming in and I drilled the top of this of the can and to fit my hose it goes right in there. So then I took and I drilled in the bottom you really can't see because the carbon's on there but I drilled about probably somewhere around 30 or 40 really tiny little holes with a little tiny drill bit and that allows the water to flow out. So all you know is my piece of tubing that will be connected to my pump goes in the top here, water pumps it in and it flows out the bottom. Now that's really all there is to it. It's that simple. Now you could get really uh, fancy with this if you didn't have let's say a hang on back filter with building a bulkhead that the water flows into and then a bulkhead that the water is forced out of back to your tank almost like a canister filter would work. Um, or you could, th there's really no limit to the kinds of things you could do with it if you wanted to. Uh, I mean, if you wanted to build your own reactors, lots of people build their own reactors. You can use bottles, you can use pieces of PVC pipe. The options are really endless for building your own reactor or your own canister filter. It's super easy. Especially if you just have a few common tools around like a drill uh, or some pliers or something that you can cut a hole in a container with. So, but you see how easy that was to build my own little uh, reactor right there, and it literally took me 10 minutes of work. Didn't even have, you know, I, I used the can that it came in, so it's pretty fine. Uh, the only reason it's in this little dish thing here is because I was, uh, I cleaned out the carbon with water like you're supposed to before you use it. But, so this should last me on a 10 gallon tank a really long time and keep the water nice and polished. So that's just my little uh, project of the day that I worked on. It's super easy if you have, you know, like I said, your own little tank or a larger tank. You can really build this to any scale you want, and then you can use uh, bulk carbon that comes loose instead of the stuff you have to buy in bags, which is more expensive, like I said. 
Another option is if you buy uh, a filter pack, you know, or if you already have a filter pack of this stuff that came in a bag, pop the seams on the bag, pour out the old carbon, take your bulk carbon, pour it back into the bag, sew it up, there you go, and it, fit, it already fits your thing. So you can do that too, or you can do this. There's really all kinds of methods that make it so you don't have to go back and buy more carbon bags. Um, so that's my uh, little thing of the day. I'll have another tank update on the 10 gallon hopefully this weekend. So keep an eye out for that. And hope this video helps or gives you your own ideas for your own projects in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.